I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you, even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise, so long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. student. I watched your bout against Jingwu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. <laughs> Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. 
The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. Bandits coming here. They must not know about the school, or at least about Master Lee. He's not a man to stand idly by while people suffer. If they hurt Kia Min badly, Master Lee will be angry. I'd hate to be the captain of that ship if Master Lee is angry. I hear bandits have injured Kia Min. She is a favorite pupil and holds the record for the challenge I run. I'm sure Master Lee will take care of her. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and train. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here, because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil, Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm or the closed fist? A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. 
But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. True, but that can become a convenient excuse. Eventually you may decide that even direct violence is too inefficient for someone of your strength. It is a small leap from there to enforcing your will so that the crime never takes place. Suddenly you are the oppressor, when all you wanted to do was make things right. This way of the open palm is not without its hidden dangers, despite the best of intentions. It is the low path, the way of aggression and discord. A misunderstood path often misused by those who wish to justify a thuggish nature. It is not as simple as crushing your enemies or as mindless as terrorizing the weak. It is a mindset born of impatience, of imposing your will. An evil man might ignore a plea for help because he does not care, but that shows a disconnection with the world. That is not part of the way. A man on the low path might also ignore that plea, but he would do so because that person should demonstrate they are fit to survive on their own. The difference is in the details. That same man might help if the odds are unreasonable. He might also do it to incur favor. There is thought in his actions. He is not a mindless killer, but he may let strength decide what course is best. That is why it is a dangerous path. It can so easily be misinterpreted. A term for the high path, or perhaps, of course. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Master Lee, it is... You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. But there can be advantages. Certain forms of attack inherently lean toward one extreme or the other. They have a rhythm that resonates within you. You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. How you use this is for you to discover and decide. I am charged with giving... Who are you interested in? Only what she lets me know. A very private woman, despite spending so long in the school. <laughs> you probably know her as well as anyone does. She has great skill, but a reluctance to use it. If she were to let go, she could be very powerful. Perhaps that is what she fears. Master Lee is a private man, and I will not presume to speak for him. His interest in you surpasses the care of any master I have known. He must see great potential in you. Only what... If you wish, but only introspection reveals true insight. I used to call the trading center of Phoenix Gate my home, but I am settled here. I have nothing to go back to. Hm. 
It is not important. Suffice to say that I prefer this little village to the temptations of a greater city. Enough about me. What else can I do for you? It has been several years since I arrived in Two Rivers. I was surprised to find a teacher of Master Lee's ability so far out on the borderlands. It was a fortuitous accident. I have studied the martial arts all my life and serve your master as I am able. He is devoted to your training and needs someone to assist the other students. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. senior student and not too many people come back here this time of day so we thought we'd take a moment to practice would you like to join us we could team up against you and learn from the best we should keep practicing we have a weapons training session later this afternoon perhaps one of the others like Wen or Lin could help you if you wanted to help us practice in a match against us both of course we would be most honored This is good news. We'll try to go easy on you. Legendary strike. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's enough. I didn't think we'd win, but it was an honor to face you. Thank you very much. We have to go. Smiling Mountain's going to be teaching a class soon, and then we have weapons training. What would bandits want with a sleepy town like Two Rivers? They're in for a surprise if they think the school won't leap to the town's defense. Sometimes I wonder if I'm ready to train with others of such skill. Even in the robes of a junior student, I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. You're right. Master Lee would not have accepted me if he did not see potential. He measures all people carefully. I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Lee? She also came here very young, didn't she? The two of you are generally considered the most advanced students here. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? I don't think so. Perhaps she is at her garden. I do not know her well, but I see her there often. I'll ask Gao if he's in the mood to speak. I saw him heading that way. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Bandits are coming here? What do they want with two rivers? What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. 
A very likely Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Li allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Li's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... Absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? Only what Master Lee has told you in the past. You are meant for great things, but you must discover them yourself. It must be so frustrating, but exciting as well. I like hearing about the great things you are destined for. Even if they are unknown, you are filled with promise. My skills are darker. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Li discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it.
I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? I'm so shocked, I don't know what to say. You have to keep us safe. What was that noise from the town square? Are people fighting? This... Who you hear shot your Uksayana? Sawani Karpa. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> if you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Dawnstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually, but you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say. But this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon. And the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. <laughs> Senior student! Oh. Excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. Master Li hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure.
Legendary strike. There is no time to talk. We have to save the village from these bandits. Nice little town you have here. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. It's so awful. This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Legendary strike. Long sword. Focus. Someone from the school would help. No one else could. Please, my boy Nijo is trying to fight them down on the beach, but we need someone skilled. I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. Thank the heavens you came down here. They're animals. <laughs> Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die.
Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it. I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. <clears throat> Well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students, and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. 
Master Lee called that that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason, the robes of that sorcerer looked familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was, or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he has not had time. Your training has taken precedence. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just be. Yes, I suppose you know something about that as well. I hope this does not sound odd, but I am glad we share that. Thanks for this talk. The events on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve my mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. Then we should return to Master Lee, so he can talk to you about this attack. Tawi <laughs> Unnikasurir kwana no kuni ugnawata ir nignipir. The kotro tuaso. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. But don't forget his senior student. They say he's the one who dealt with many. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student. After you return from the spirit cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. 
Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin? Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. Remember the basics. They will serve you well. Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. So you are at their beck and call? A service animal for those too weak to protect themselves. That's <laughs> an endless foolish road to go down. There are always victims, always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone will be begging for your help. Why should I care? I have little interest in the other students here, and even less for the mud farmers outside. I am here to train, nothing more. You'll soon see what I am capable of. I will make sure of it. I'm done with you. Go talk to your precious master. Training will not resume until he has met with you. <laughs> 